Hi, I'm Matt Kempf and I'll be doing week two project of Stock Finishing and Metalwork Lab. And the date is September 6th. So to summarize the step of crowning and lapping, I first clamped it into the vise with some soft jaws. Then I cleaned the top with some isopropyl alcohol, went through with a 90 degree flushing cutter with a 50 caliber uh, guide. Then once that was done, I went through with the 11 degree crown cutter. And as I was doing that, I was realizing I was pressing a little bit too hard with not enough lubricant. And I was using some CLP for lubricant and that did pretty good. Um, but once I realized that galling was happening, I went back to the 90 degree uh, uh, cutter. And I, with my hand draw, I went about 100 or 200 RPMs, not very fast. And just applied a lot more of that CLP cutting fluid. So that way it could prevent galling, and it did. So it got much, much better. And then I went through some steel wool, got some of the big parts out, went through. I put the steel wool actually on the 11 degree crown cutting tool with the drill, applied moderate pressure so I can get everything. And then I went through with the uh, lapping compound, 220 grit. And uh, with that uh, adapter guide lapping compound bit, uh, I went through did that until all the inside edges are nice clean and no burrs were present and on the octagon barrel on the edges I went through with some 320 grit and did a 90 degree little once over just to break up the edge a little bit and it turned out really well I'm happy with the way it it turned out I didn't want the crown too deep uh, and close to the edge so I went maybe about halfway through so I'll see how that works when I fire it next time. And that's my week two project reflections.